Can you be woke and in a interracial relationship? Can you? One of my subscribers who asked me, do I believe you can be woke and in a interracial relationship? This question is concerning, can black people who claim to be conscious exist in an interracial relationship? Do the two conflict? In a roundabout way, yes. Now, because for black people, there's issues of colorism, there's issues of self-hate, there's issues of white supremacy. It's very difficult for us to be on the outside of a person and be able to detect rather their participation in an interracial relationship is due to colorism or white supremacy or self-hate or any of that. But there obviously is a percentage of black men and women who date outside of their race, whose motivation to date outside of their race is issues of colorism, is issues of wanting to be disassociated from their own race, maybe because of the stereotypes that society has placed on black people being unintelligent, being poor, being impoverished. The symbols that the colonizers use that manipulate minority groups into assembling into whiteness. Because when you live in a white patriarch, all of the symbols of power, of wealth are white faced. We see white people at the top of that pyramid. So oftentimes we see um, this assimilation happened within Hollywood, particularly the NBA, where you will have black athletes who have been dating black women their whole life. All of a sudden, they make it huge, and then they marry a white counterpart. Very fucking interesting. So you have brown people, you have melanated people who don't desire to date other melanated people because they look at them as less, even though they themselves are black. And this type of mentality was reflected in house niggas where you had blacks who occupy positions of power on the masses estate and saw themselves as, as more valuable and privileged in comparison to the blacks who did the field work. And because black people deal with white supremacy in every way from how we define beauty, our beauty standards, in terms of our socialization, the way that we internalize ourselves and how we relate to the outward world, even labeling certain behavior as black or a ghetto, when all misappropriate behavior is simply misappropriate behavior. It's not ghetto or different because a black person chooses to be unruly or chooses to be inappropriate versus a Caucasian or an Asian or some other ethnic group behaving in the same manner. But when black people do it, it's labeled as a particular type of behavior. And this type of labeling and nitpicking is what creates these social narrative types and generalizations around communities. I do believe that you can be woke and you can be in an interracial relationship. I think for black people who have found themselves consistently dating outside of their race, they need to sit back and check that because obviously that speaks to a pattern and a pattern is always associated with a pathology. That is a cause for concern if you have always dated outside of your race and you don't find yourself attracted to other black people then obviously there are some issues there that need to be dealt with for people who have dated all across the spectrum they've dated in and out of race black people white people they've dated a, a little bit of everybody they just date based upon chemistry and love obviously that's a healthier way of maneuvering through the dating world but it is a cause for concern if you are a brown person and you only date outside of your race. There is something to be said about when you yourself are a black person and you can come out of your mouth and say you don't find other black people attractive. That in and of itself is a self-hate point of reference. That right there lets me know that you have some internalized issues within yourself, period. I don't feel like that can be argued because if that can be argued away, then what the fuck is self-hate? There is no other receipt for self-hate other than saying, I don't like other people who look like me, which is what black men and black women are saying who say they're not attracted to other black people. So yes, you can be woke, you can be conscious. I do believe that a person can stand on behalf of equality and liberation for their black people and occupy romantically a relationship with the non-black persons and that not interfere 
in their intelligence, in their activism, and within their contribution to their community. Many people date outside of their race. Many people date outside of their religion. I have a friend whose mother is a Christian, but his dad is a Muslim. And they coexist as a family, they coexist as a household, they've co-parented and been married for 20, 30 plus years. Because at the end of the day, relationships aren't just about social compatibility, meaning do you like the same movies, do you like the same music? We have to remember that love and chemistry also is what put people together. So you can meet somebody who you don't expect to like, who you never expected to be attracted to, and because there's a powerful chemistry, there's a powerful interaction, of one another then shabam you know you find yourself dating somebody who is outside of your race or outside of your religion or outside of your philosophy somebody who who was not on your radar in terms of who you thought you would end up with and the type of people that you usually go for so we are a deeper people than that we are spirit and to be spirit mean that we have a aspect of our nature that is transcendent and it's void and separate from these social constructs we create around race, ethnicity, sexuality, religion, etc. There's an aspect of us all that makes us universal. It makes us one. We are created by the same substance, but because of culture and society, we experience ourselves and we form ourselves around man-made ideas that then divide us amongst each other based upon ethnicity, social class, gender, etc. You're always going to be capable and able to date outside of your own race without it being an issue of self-hate or colorism or racism or white supremacy. So there is a balance to this thing. Yes, you can be woke and still date interracially without them being in conflict. The only people who this doesn't apply to is people who only date outside of their race and people who don't find other members of their tribe attractive sexually, romantically, or culturally, or socially. Those are the individuals who fit the bill of people who cannot be woke, but date interracially. Having a love for your own beauty, for your own heritage, for the truth that you come from, that you were born from, that you were born into and out of, that is pivotal for people who are woke. So any woke leaders who have only been dating outside of their race, they've never dated within a race, you never see them with anyone who looks like them, you should speculate those individuals. I know interracial couples and the black people are blacker than black and the white people are whiter than fucking white. I have a cousin, his husband is, I think, French and my cousin is as pro-black as it fucking comes and his husband just happens to be somebody who's outside of his race and my cousin has dated black men in his time. He just so happened to have ended up in love with somebody who's outside of his race. But that does not distract him from what he knows and understands about what it means to be black, what it means to be a black man, and what it means to be a black race. And he's very interested and has a passion for understanding his culture and fighting on behalf of the issues that surround being black under white supremacist structures. So I know firsthand that you can be woke and date interracially. But you guys tell me what you guys think. Do you guys think that you can be woke and a healthy understanding of your black ass self but also be in relationship to non-black people? Do you guys think that who you date is a reflection of what you think about yourself? You guys tell me. Make sure you share, comment, rate, and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I will talk to you guys later.